The NFL season has officially begun, and as much as I love to talk about American football, that's not my job. My job is to talk about the game of basketball. Today, I thought I'd blend those two together and talk about the NBA players who almost certainly could have succeeded in the NFL. Now I'm going to do some educated guessing, but obviously that still qualifies as guessing. Let me know in the comments below who you think would have been great in the NFL, past or present. So without further ado, let's get into it. First off, Anthony Edwards. Edwards has personally claimed that he can play in multiple different sports professionally, and honestly, he might be onto something. Long before Edwards was in the NBA, he was actually killing it on the football field. At the age of 10, Edwards was considered as one of the best Pop Warner players in all of the United States. He was pretty much all over the field, as he excelled at several different positions, including running back, defensive back, and even quarterback. According to Edwards, he could have pursued an NFL career, but growing up, his brothers were more into basketball than any other sport, and that influence strengthened his love and passion for the game of basketball, which is why he instead pursued a career in the NBA. It's one thing to excel at a sport at the age of 10, but it's another thing entirely to display your skills as an adult and gain the attention of some of the best NFL players of all time. Over a year ago, Edwards had this clip going viral on Twitter as he displayed an absolute cannon of an arm with precision aiming. This clip was so impressive that it even got the attention of arguably the greatest quarterback in NFL history, Tom Brady, who said, I know the money is good, but you're playing the wrong sport. If the 6'4 Edwards continued to start at running back, I'm sure his NFL coach would experiment with flea flickers and wildcat style plays, because you'd certainly want to utilize his stunning passing ability. Obviously, playing in the NFL is no easy task, but if there's any NBA players who could do it, then Edwards is likely one of those candidates. Next up, Nate Robinson. The 5'9 guard was one of the most athletically gifted players in NBA history, as he won the dunk contest on numerous occasions despite his small frame. He was quick and strong and even explored his options at an NFL career, but he took that approach a little too late to earn a roster spot. In his days in high school, he absolutely crushed the competition, as he played at running back, wide receiver, and defensive back. In his senior year in high school, he had over 1,200 rushing yards, over 500 receiving yards, and a total of 21 touchdowns on the season. In his freshman year in college, he played defensive corner and wide receiver for the University of Washington. After that, he decided to focus on his basketball career, but the potential was definitely there for him to be an explosive pass catcher in the NFL. Picture Darren Sproles in his prime, and that's basically the potential ceiling I envisioned for Robinson in the NFL. Although realistically, he probably would have been a tier or two below that. Next up, Allen Iverson. Obviously the answer is an absolute icon in the game of basketball, as he firmly solidified his legacy as one of the greatest pound for pound players of all time. But way before he was a superstar guard in the NBA, people thought he was going to be a superstar quarterback in the NFL. At Bethel Virginia High School, Iverson led his team to the state title. He could have easily played at a high profile college as an explosive starting quarterback, but instead he took his talents to Georgetown as a basketball player. All you have to do is watch some of his playmaking ability and you'll quickly understand the potential that Iverson passed up in the sport. Next, we'll take a look at Jalen Suggs. This shooting guard is about to head into his third season in the NBA and is still working on making his mark in the league. But he might have been able to do the same in the NFL as well. For one, he's actually the second cousin of a seven-time Pro Bowler and a two-time Super Bowl winner, Terrell Suggs. As the starting quarterback in his high school, Jalen was ranked as the second best player in Minnesota and was even recognized as one of the top dual threat quarterbacks in the country. 
In his senior year, he got over 2,200 passing yards and nearly 1,000 rushing yards, while throwing 25 TDs and scoring 12 more touchdowns on the ground. Defensively, he also played in the secondary and got nine interceptions in that senior year and returned two of them for touchdowns. Obviously, he ended up going with basketball. And who can blame him, considering how basketball players are paid more money while sustaining less devastating injuries. But as far as his pure abilities go, he just may have been a better football player than basketball player. Next is LeBron James. I've heard the criticism over and over again that LeBron is allegedly too soft to play in the NFL, but I firmly disagree with that notion. People want to bring up that James flops in the NBA, but he doesn't do that because he's weak or soft, but he literally does it to gain an advantage by enticing the refs to blow the whistle. This is not an applicable aspect to his toughness in the NFL. At his peak, LeBron was a strong 6 foot 9 inches tall and 260 pounds, who had the speed to hang with the very best. But specifically, in his sophomore year of high school, LeBron played wide receiver and was named first team All-State. And in his junior year, he helped get his team to the state semifinals. Obviously, by the end of his high school days, his focus was completely on the game of basketball but that wouldn't be the end of his connections to the game of football. During his days as a pro basketball player, NFL organizations like the Cleveland Browns and the Dallas Cowboys have expressed interest in acquiring LeBron. I would have loved to have witnessed that. Considering how a lot of great tight ends in the past, like Antonio Gates, Jimmy Graham, and Tony Gonzalez, were also decent basketball players, I think it would have been cool to see LeBron take a stab at the tight end position. But unfortunately, LeBron never decided to go through with it. Last to cover on my list is Charlie Ward. For some of you, Charlie Ward might not be a name you recognized for his basketball greatness. But when it comes to being talented across several sports, he was one of the greatest athletes of all time. Playing basketball at FSU, he became the university's all-time leader in total steals, and one of the all-time leaders in assists. Ultimately, he decided to become an NBA player, and was selected with the 26th pick in the 1994 draft by the New York Knicks. He would go on to be the starting point guard for several years, but honestly, that may have been the wrong career path, because in his college days at Florida State University, Ward also played football as the starting quarterback, and was an absolute stud, to say the least. In 1993, he won the Heisman, Maxwell, and Walter Camp Award, while leading FSU to win the national championship at the Orange Bowl. Regardless of his tremendous football talent, he wasn't selected in the first round, due to several criticisms of the era. For one, scouts didn't believe that he had the frame for the NFL, and during that era, explosive running quarterbacks were not held in the highest regards, as scouts and general managers were more intrigued by the traditional pocket passers. He just may have been the Michael Vick before Michael Vick, but without the proper attention, he decided to pursue basketball instead. During the late 90s, the New York Jets and the New York Giants were both struggling at the quarterback position, so humorously, Ward was often referred to as the best quarterback in New York, even though he was the starting point guard for the New York Knicks. What adds to all of this craziness is that he was also drafted in 1993 by the New York Yankees in the 18th round, meaning that simultaneously, he was a desired asset for the NBA, the NFL, and the MLB. That should be the very definition of a great athlete. Here is my list of honorable mentions. This first list is players who had football experience. Now this second list is simply players that I think would have done well in the NFL even without the same level of experience. So what do you guys think? Who is an NBA player who could have succeeded in the NFL? I look forward to hearing your suggestions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.